When I was in high school, I had a biology teacher that showed us a few clips from Carl Sagan, the program Cosmos. And I was absolutely fascinated for many, many reasons. First of all, he was a great scientist, but he communicated science in a beautiful way. Uh, so that was extremely engaging. And I thought, hmm, this is really, really interesting, this subject. He, he puts together biology and chemistry and physics and space. Uh, and he tells a beautiful story. So that was my first contact with this kind of field of astrobiology. Then when I was in college um, doing chemistry, um, I was, I discover again Carl Sagan and uh, the book and then the movie Contact. And, and that was the big click where I thought, okay, I want to do this for the rest of my life. Um, and then I decided to write a few emails to NASA and say, look, I want to work in this area um, and ask lots of questions where I could work in the field of astrobiology in Europe. My brother is a chemical engineer with a PhD, so he actually influenced me uh, to do science. But at the same time, my sister is, is uh, an artist. Uh, and so when I was growing up, I, I was growing up in having all those influences, art and science. Actually, I was supposed to be uh, a ballerina, so I started to do classical ballet when I was four. And when I was nine, I was invited to go to the National School of Dance in Portugal. I decided not to go because I was too young to decide a career already. But uh, those two influences, art and science, were really, really big in my life when I was growing up. Me and my family wouldn't do too many science activities, but I had a microscope at home. So I would do a few experiments and that was really exciting and, and appealing and really grabbed my attention to the field of science. People in Portugal are always very uh, supportive of, of people following a, a science career. And in fact, data shows that uh, Portugal is one of the countries in the world that has more females with a degree, an undergraduate degree and a PhD degree. So for me, it was normal to grow up and see uh, female role models and doing science. Uh, and that was inspiring and it was a normal situation.